I don't think we went to the moon. They're not coming up with a picture t to prove we were there. That shouldn't be so difficult. We can see close-ups of Mars, but not the moon, where they claim we landed. How many times did the U.S. allege to go to the moon? Nine times? Some crazy number. I'm not buying it. They should be able to prove it easy. And this other news is this Marjorie Green Taylor woman, Taylor Green or something, she's going nuts on a uh, Vogue. Maybe I'm scaring off a potential audience with those 15 minute marathons and said edition peppers out minute and a half thingies. Maybe that's what I should do. So that's that. I don't think we went to the moon and that crazy woman, what is she? Is she a moron or is she a double agent fruitcake? Like what about Ted Gunderson and Alex Jones? They're not crazy. Hal Turner, they were acting. That's called acting. That's called being a disinfo show, a paid fake, an agent provocateur, a numb nut. Yeah. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland, had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school, or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our Second Amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for, for protection for myself. And you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my Second Amendment rights. You don't have anything. with guns, there would be no mass shootings at school. Do you know that? The best way to stop a bad guy with a gun is with a good guy with a gun. But yet you're attacking our Second Amendment. And you have nothing to say. No words. So I'm walking. He's got nothing to say. Sad. He has nothing to say because there really isn't anything to say, you guys. He has nothing to say because he's paid to do this. He has the walk away march. He's got the um, he's got the women's march, and they're funding all of this. Every town gun USA, they're funding all this stuff. Okay, that was David Hogue right there. David, we saw him inside the Senate building. He had 30, 30 um, appointments where he ran around and got to talk to senators. I got to talk to none, none. He had media coverage all over the place. I had zero. Guess what? I'm a gun owner. I'm an American citizen, and I have nothing. But this guy with his George Soros funding and his major liberal funding has got everything. I want you to think about that. That's where we are. And he's a coward. He can't say one word because he can't defend his stance. Because there is no defense for taking away guns. There is no defense for gun confiscation. Zero. And so there he goes. He just keeps walking with his, with his two ladies that probably work with him. Maybe his handlers. Maybe his handlers, absolutely. They're telling mm -hmm. them, don't say anything. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem. They have handlers and they have no argument back. None. That's it. I'm done. Some people say it's hard to believe that the moon landings were faked. I say it's hard to believe that they were real. What NASA is claiming is that they went 1,000 times farther than they can go today with 50 year older technology on the very first attempt with one millionth of the computing power in all of NASA than is in a cell phone. All the proof that you need that the moon landings are fake is in this one picture. In sunlight, shadows will always run parallel with one another. This is because the sun is about a million times bigger than the Earth and it casts shadows in the same direction over an entire continent. So you'll see in sunlight 
Shadows always run parallel and never intersect. Here's a picture which the federal government claims was taken on the moon. The astronaut's shadow runs at 12 o'clock, and this rock, only about 5 feet away, the shadow runs at 9 o'clock. This is a 90 degree difference from objects 5 feet apart from one another. This proves that this was taken on Earth with an electrical light inside of a television studio. This is all the proof that you need that the moon landings were fake. If Toyota said that they made a car 50 years ago that could go 50,000 miles on a gallon of gasoline, and yet today their best car could only go 50 miles per gallon, or one thousandth the distance, wouldn't the fraud of the previous claim be obvious? And yet, this is exactly the moon landing fraud. And yet, people don't see it because of their emotional attachment to it. They're claiming they went a thousand times farther 50 years ago than they can go today with 50-year-older technology. That doesn't make any sense. It's the only time in history that a technological achievement like the automobile or the airplane or nuclear power that no nation on earth could repeat it 50 years later, when in fact it should be 100 times greater 50 years later. If they could go to the moon with 1960s technology, men would be in another solar system by now. Men would have walked on Mars 10 years later, 40 years ago, which never happened. And there would be bases on the moon there today, of which there are none. It's the only time in the history of the world that technology that cost $175 billion was deliberately destroyed afterwards. Would Bill Gates spend $175 billion to make the first computer, and then when he was done, throw it and the schematics in the trash? But that's what NASA claims that they did. They only did that to destroy the evidence of the fraud, which is proof itself that they didn't go, because if they really went, they would never destroy the technology. The B-52 bomber was made 70 years ago and is still in service today in the United States Air Force because it worked so well. Now they want to return to the moon and they're having to recreate all that equipment from scratch because they deliberately destroyed it in order to hide the evidence of the fraud. I say it's harder to believe that the moon landings are real than to believe that they were fake. And this one picture proves that it was taken inside of a television studio on Earth.